हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन अ लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी फिनिश्ड अप टिल सेवन पॉइंट दैट वॉज पर्सनल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम दैट इज पी डी आई एंड मोर यू शुड नो ऑल द इन फिक्सड इनकम फ्लैक्चुएटिंग इनकम मनी इनकम रियल इनकम कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल इनकम रेसिडियल इनकम अर्न इनकम एंड अन अर्न इनकम नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल गो विथ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी इकोनॉमिक वर्ड इट सेल्फ दैट द एक्टिविटी विच इज हैविंग इट्स वर्थ वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी नाउ यूर द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू फोर टाइप्स विच इंक्लूड प्रोडक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सचेंज एंड कंजम्पन नाउ प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन इज अ क्रिएशन ऑफ यूटिलिटी इट मीन्स यू क्रिएट अ यूटिलिटी फॉर द प्रोडक्शन there are four factors of production such as to produce to make production you need four factors the more most important essential factors are land you need a land to set up a factory to set up your business okay then labor laborers you need so that the work can be done hmm? efficiency can be put in the business then the capital to start with the business you need capital capital means uh, this means you invest your money to start a business to set up a business that is known as capital even you are studying this in accounts as well and entrepreneur so this entrepreneur is nothing but a businessman okay a businessman will start with the business he will invest money that is capital he will uh, buy a land he will set up a a uh, factory or uh, then he will um, hire laborers and he will pay labor to them so these four factors are the parts of a uh, uh, factor of production known as parts of production of factors of production now see always remember the activist activities which are carried out just for the sake of charity when any activity koi bhi kaam charitably hota hai or hobby means for the just for your hobby as because you like it so you do it okay or in general where there is no monetary transaction or mon, uh, monetary exchange jahan pe monetary exchange money exchange nahi hota hai monetary exchange nahi hota hai that is called as a unproductive um, economic term that is unproductive in the sense uh, in the sense of economics it is unproductive activity when you don't have to pay any monetary exchange is not take pl uh, place is not taking place then it is just for the charity or hobby or just to um uh, uh, fulfill your desire you do any activity that activity will be known as unproductive in the sense of economic terms uh, though they may be adding immense value of uh, to human life means uh, here these activities maybe you are doing charity to someone it is very um, uh, having value in the human life but it is not having any monetary exchange so it will be called as unproductive in the sense of economics in the sense of economics it is called as um, unproductive activity now factors of production one by one deeply we will study factors of production here the land land in economics is a wide term it's a wide term in economics it is a natural factor of production unless and until a land will not be utilized production work will not take place any natural resources because any natural resources that is available on and above and below the surface of earth on on the surface of earth above and below the surface of the earth is called land in economics term in economics terms land is land means what it's not a piece of a uh, land hmm? here it means that whatever natural whichever natural resources you get on above and below the surface of earth is called as a uh, land in economics for example minerals which are found below the surface of the earth soil water on the surface of the earth air and sunshine wind are above the surface of the earth all these are known as land land earns rent in productive activity in the productive activity when uh, land is used then who uh, land earns rent in this activity we have to pay rent for using the land okay now the next one is labor 
Labor is a human factor. It's a human factor of production. Any physical or a material effort undergoing, undergone during the process of production to earn the reward of wages. What to pay? What do we have to pay to a laborer? Laborer. We have to pay wages to a laborer, right? So that this wages is a reward for the laborer, as the laborer has given his physical and mental effort for. accomplishing the uh, production work okay so he will be paid as wages so this wages is a reward for laborer for example carpenter carpenter what the carpenter does he furnishes a house offices and all he makes furniture right accountant he works he um, uh, maintains a books of account so he has to, we have to pay to him salary right then engineer he uh, sets up all machine right equipments and all so he has to be paid by a entrepreneur businessman so it will be uh, he will charge his labor right so we have to pay him uh, reward in a sense of wages or salary now the next uh, factor of production is what capital now capital is produced means for for the production for, for production say unless and until you we will not invest any money in the business then business could not be done right uh, so here the capital it is a man made factor it is a man made factor it is a man made factor of production which earns reward which earns reward and what a uh, reward of uh, capital gets capital gets interest you know it's a man made factor but on capital interest has to be paid suppose the partners have brought the capital in the business they have invested money in the business then that money will be called as capital that money will be called as capital and on that capital business has to give interest has to give interest so this interest will be reward in the form of uh, it this will be reward for the capital reward for the capital interest will be reward for the capital now for example machinery technology factory building etc are the what are the um, capital um, are bought with the capital what is bought machinery is bought technology is bought then factory building is bought okay uh, now the next one is uh fourth one is entrepreneur entrepreneur is the organizer he is the businessman who really in real sense he is a captain of the industry he is he is the boss of the industry captain of the industry he is a special kind of labor who uh, he is a special kind of labor and who gets the work done to earn who gets the work the earn to earn the reward of profit if he ha if he have the expectation to have reward okay uh, then he has to work harder then only he'll be able to earn profit then only he will be able to earn profit in the process of production so to get the profit he has to get the work done from the workers from the laborers okay so here the reward which an entrepreneur will get will be the profit now the next one is uh, distribution distribution these are the factors of production see the eight point we were going through eight point economic activity first point production we did now the second economic activity is what distribution distribution it is a division of factor division of factor rewards among different segments of the society means um once the goods are produced the goods will be distributed in the market the goods will reach to the wholesaler then the wholesaler will uh, send it to the um, retailer then retailer will uh, send it to the consumer so the se different segments of the society the uh, division of the factor is done okay the factors of production claim the rewards of rent then wages then interest and profit through the process of distribution through process of distribution and only they will be able to earn right once the production is done and it is kept in the one place stored then there will be no uh, when there will be no distribution then there will be no rent reward of rent there because money will not get generated right uh, no wages will be paid no interest and no profit so the distribution is one of the economic activity now the next one is exchange it is give and take between various units of economy give and take policy exchange is what give and take no one uh, by one hand you give from other hand you take okay give and take policy so exchange refers to sell and purchase of goods and services uh, sell and purchase if only the selling is done 
selling supplying is done demand is not there then there is no value for the commodity right so the sell and purchase of the goods and services is must is necessary and uh, that is called exchange it is give and take between various units of economy and exchange refers to the sell and purchase of goods and services so in economics exchange is necessary for monetary transaction exchange is necessary only production is done and goods are not sold and no one is there to purchase them there will not be any um, monetary transaction uh, there will be no monetary transaction money will not get generated then the consumption now it is making use of goods consumers are making use of goods now consumers are the direct uh, uh, directly they are using the goods and services they don't sell off wholesaler will sell manufacturer will sell goods retailer will sell but the consumer consumer is the person who use the goods and services to satisfy his wants so uh, consumption is what it is making use of goods and services to satisfy human wants so this is also an economic activity now in the next video we will begin with the macroeconomics i hope up till here you all have understood if you have any doubt my dear students then you all can write me in the comment box the particular uh, term i'll explain you again we have finished with the classification of wants and uh, this classification of wants basic all the basic terms which are concepts which are there in microeconomics we have done with it in our next video i'll come up with macroeconomics uh, so thank you for watching my video subscribe it like it and share it